So in today's video, we are going to be sublimating on these Dollar Tree flat canvases and stretched canvases. We'll be making reverse canvases. But unlike last time, we're going to be using laminate sheets. And we're going to compare which is better, the fabric or the laminate sheets, which is more vibrant, which just looks. So if you want to see how it turns out, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on a budget. I do supplementation, cricket, and kid craft videos. So if any of those things interest you, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification button to be notified every time I upload. And while you're at it, just give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget, there is a giveaway. This is going to be my first time supplementing on this flat canvas. Um, if you've seen my other video, I did a stretch canvas. But I've never done one of these. So it will be interesting to see. Like, I'm sure the heat will probably bend it and you'll have to re-straighten it or something afterwards. So this is the 8x10 canvas panel. We are also doing two stretch canvases. I have already taken out the wood and I painted one. I stained one with... Uh, this teal acrylic paint, I added water and stained it just like last time and I made a black one as well. So we're doing two of those. So here are these canvases. So we are going to lint roll these first like we did last time. So we're doing three today. And then we're gonna compare these to the, remember last time I used the fabric. So we're gonna compare it to that and see if the laminate will provide a more vibrant picture than the canvas did. Also guys, I'm thinking about doing, why I'm lint rolling, I'm gonna talk to you. I'm thinking about doing a video where I compare, um, honestly speaking, um, sublimation paper or blanks galore or crafting besties. So let me know which one you want me to buy and kind of test out and compare to A sub and see which is better. Now we're going to take our laminate sheets. And these laminate sheets come in pouches. So they're like thermal pouches. So you take them and then we're going to cut them in the middle. So we use, so we're going to make it into two basically. So we're going to cut it. Kind of oh, there you go. Mm. Okay. So I'm gonna save the fourth side for another. So I'm just gonna take it, just put it here. I don't, I'm not going to cut these or anything. I'm just going to place them there. The only one I might have to cut is for this one. I want to make sure there's no like dust on it. So I'm going to trim it for the flat one. So with these, you have to be careful because you don't want to cut the actual canvas. I actually cut it right there. And right now is the time to buy these, by the way, because Cricut is having a sale. I don't think it's over and everything's like 50% off. And I bought this one last year and it came with five came with the blade on it and the five extra blades. As you can see, I still have four blades and I bought it a year ago. And these are really nice because all you have to do to replace the blade is you push in and then you turn and it unlocks the blades and then you just push to release. So now these are all ready to go on the heat press. So I'm just gonna put my Teflon sheet and I'm gonna hear it for 10 seconds. That was definitely lit in there, so you can definitely see that. So that's one thing to check, is not only the 
canvas having lint but also the so i'm just gonna do the stretch canvases together so for these i'm actually gonna punt butcher paper underneath because there's holes in the canvas from where i ripped um ripped it away from the staples so i don't want it to adhere to my heat press i'm not trying to have that happen to me okay so i'm gonna put a teflon sheet and then again for 10 seconds but let me show you you can see the shininess and you can see there's lint and i don't think that's from the canvas that's actually from the laminate so i would say lint roll your laminate before you press it so word learn from my mistakes but this was my first time so that's helpful to know okay so now we're gonna tape up our designs to our canvases and make sure there's no lint on here because remember lint turns um blue with sublimation so i'm just gonna put my image down i'm honestly not concerned about the straightness all too much just because I know that um, I can put in the frame however I want and that will make it straight. But you can't, don't go putting it extra crooked either, you know. So I'm just going to put some tape on each side. Okay, so I'm going to do the stretch canvases first. I can do both of those at the same time. I'm gonna get my craft paper and I'm gonna put it on top. And then we're gonna do 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Make sure to always have your heat glove nearby. I need better heat gloves, so if you have recommendations, let me know because these heat gloves suck. They absolutely suck. Three, two, one, eek! Okay. So we'll move. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. We're gonna do this one, flip it with the paper facing up. paper side um this one's gonna need i'm gonna adjust the pressure and we're gonna press it i've never pressed this one so we'll see how this one turns out i'm sure you'll have to bend it i'm sure the heat will bend it oh man i love how these turned out there's a little bit of bubbles and like the ink kind of ran through it Okay. So this one didn't get as good pressure in some areas. Okay, so we're going to finish these canvases. So I think Okay, so I think I'm going to do this one the blue one and this one the black one. And then I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to put a dot of heat right there just to secure it. And then I'm going to flip it and I'm going to glue it down. Remember to always pull it so that you don't get any wrinkles in your canvas. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same to this one. So now I'm going to take my cutting mat again. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm done with that. Now I'm gonna cut the other one. So I love how these canvases turned out. Honestly, I think these turned out way better than the one supplementing on fabric because look how vibrant these colors are. Like, it's shiny, it's vibrant. I just love how these turned out. So this one and these, this just, I love how they turned out. But make sure you pull your canvas, as I said, because if not, you'll kind of have like a little bulge like this. But other than that, these turned out perfect. Now, if you remember earlier, one of them didn't turn out right. Was it this one? You see, there wasn't enough pressure in some areas. I had my pressure completely wrong. So the key to these is you need the right amount of pressure. Because if not, you're going to have bubbles like this where you won't be able to get enough pressure when you press the sublimation. So getting your pressure right is key to this so i redid it and it turned out so much better look at it now the thing is also that i don't know how to not get like on the edges you see that it doesn't press so well there so i don't know how to get around that if you do know let me know but it did turn out well there's even pressure everywhere except the top is fine except the sides right here and i don't know if it's like how i cut the laminate or what but if you know let me know so i think the reverse canvases are my favorite compared to these yeah these have less steps but i mean if i could get this fixed then maybe because this one had the same problem so I don't know if I should just um, cut the laminate bigger than this and then trim it after it's done um, I'm not sure but they did turn out really really well they're my new favorite thing to do I love them so 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 much so if you enjoy this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit the bell notification button to be notified every time I upload. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to watch more sublimation videos, just watch my sublimation playlist and all my videos for the 10 days of Craftmas. So, bye guys. So please excuse my appearance right now. I am editing and I realize I never gave you the giveaway rules. They were in the bottom. They're in the description box. So make sure to look. They were in the bottom of the first video in the 10 days of Craftmas. So the giveaway starts on December 16th. So it already started by the time you're watching this. And it ends on December 26th. So the day after Christmas is your last day to enter. And here are the rules. You have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. You have to be following me on Instagram at Eden Grace designs.co it will also be linked down below and you got to be following my facebook page at leslieirene.xoxo and most importantly you got to be commenting and liking on every single video in these 10 days of craftmas i will be checking and you need to do all of those in order to be entered into the giveaway and yeah good luck thank you guys for supporting me i cannot believe that we are almost at 800 i'm not sure by the time this video goes live if we are at 800 we might be but thank you guys so much for your support it means so much to me and this giveaway is just a little way of me giving back to you guys for you guys supporting me like i'm getting emotional this is just my way of giving back a little bit it's not a lot but thank you so much for supporting me it means so much to me and i love you guys and good luck